Runway ML just introduced one of the most anticipated AI tools for text to video generation. It's called Gen 2. And if you haven't heard of Runway before, they are basically the leaders in AI text to video generation. Their previous model was called Gen 1. It was revolutionary. And now this new advanced model is called Gen 2. I'm really excited to show you exactly how it works. And basically, it's just a simple text prompt. You could type in any text you want, and then it will turn that text into a video with just one click. You could access Runway at runwayml.com. That will land you on this page. Gen 2 is available now that you could try. So sign up for an account. You could use it for free, and I'll show you exactly how they make money because they do have paid plans. And once you log in, it will bring you to this page. And right here, it says Popular AI Magic Tools Gen 1 Video to Video was over here. Gen 2 is Text to Video. It's over here. If I click on it, it will bring me to the prompt box. Now here, I could type in my prompt, and you could get much more advanced with this. But just to get you started, I'll get a very basic prompt. I'll type in empty downtown street. And if you click this icon over here, it does have some more advanced options. So for example, you could change the seed. Again, this gets more advanced. I'll cover this in much more advanced videos. But you could also click this to upscale it and remove the watermark. Now you do need basically a version of ML that lets you do this. So I have that already. And then here, the duration basically tells you how long the video is going to be. This is only going to create four second vi videos right now as I'm recording this. Then I'm gonna press generate. Now, right over here, you'll see how many seconds I have left. Basically, it just took off four seconds from my credits. Now, I have the paid version, it's about $15 a month. The free version is even more limited than this. So be careful, this is not something that you could just keep doing for free. It will start charging you. So they have the three different tiers of pricing depending on how many seconds you want and it renews per month once you upgrade your paid plans. And here's my output, so I could go full screen and I could press play to view basically what it created for me. And if I wanna download this right on top right here, it basically gives you a download option right here. This will download it locally to your computer so you could take it off this platform, but by default, it does save it to your folder. So you have an assets folder, all these by default go over there. And then you could actually revise this and give it a more complex prompt if you want. Now, a couple other things I'll show you before I show you this kind of more advanced prompt formula. You could actually upload a picture and then turn that picture into a video. It will use that to create a video. So I have this mid-journey picture here so I could still give it a prompt. So it's gonna take my image and it's gonna blend it with the prompt to give me a video. So it's not gonna turn exactly that picture into a video. They have other tools that do similar things to that. This is a little bit different, let me show you. And here, let me go to full screen and I'll press play on the video. Very nice subtle motion and the style is very much like the style of the photo I gave it. So it's not exactly the same, so the photo was a little bit different, but it's a really cool way to basically get the same tone and same style as any image that you upload. Now I'll show you one more advanced prompt here because you're going to get much better results if you do your prompts this way. Let me show you how. And by the way, when you go to the prompt box, if you get stuck, they do have all these different ideas over here. So you could click on one of these or press try it and it will basically give you that prompt so you could generate from here. So for example, this one, if I click on it, it says, you could see this is far more detailed. So I'll give you this as an example. This is a really good prompt. In the very beginning of your prompt, you wanna talk about basically what you wanna see. So basically this is just describing the building with the landscape. But then right after that, you wanna give it the style where you want this to go. So the style here is style of cinematic, cinematography, shallow depth of field. Those are just words in the world of cinematography. Subject in focus, background out of focus, beautiful and filmic. So a bunch of different words really to explain the same thing. I found that if you just use a few words, you do get good results like filmic and cinematic with shallow depth of field. Those are good terms. You could also do things in a cartoony way too. So you could say in an animation or in a cartoon or line drawings. But let me just show you here. I'll generate this one using the filmic. I really like this type of style. And this is the result that I got from that specific prompt that I loaded up. So you can see it looks like a movie, right? The motion is not quite there. There's like less frames than it needs to have in order to look exactly like a movie. And it's a little bit jittery, but it's very cinematic. The style, the lighting, the camera movement, 
really, really interesting. This time I'll do a prompt to show you animation style. So a sunny beach in an animation style is gonna give you something that looks completely different than what we just saw. So we got more the filming look for the first few prompts. Now let's see what it looks like. It's more on the cartoon animation side. So let me press play on that. So this looks more on the Pixar type movie, right? I said animation, so it created more of an animation style type of a video clip for me, which again, I could delete, or again, I could come in here and try to revise my prompt. And anytime you could see, if you press reveal prompt, it's going to show you exactly how you got to this point. And you could use this rating system here if you want to train this runway ML model so it could improve over time. And Runway ML has a lot of different magic tools that basically have over 30 different types of tools that you could use in the world of video and audio and images. So you could play around there and they have an entire editing platform too. And if you're new to Runway, we are putting together an entire course on Runway as well as other courses on the most popular image generation platforms and AI platforms like Midjourney and ChatGPT. It's gonna be a Netflix style all in one platform. So you can learn all of these for one subscription price. I'll put a link in the description. It's almost released. It's gonna have well over 200 videos, lots of different courses on generative AI all in one place. I think you'll find it really useful. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.